Well, we know that um, Volodymyr Zelensky has named Oleksandr Sierski as the new commander-in-chief of Ukraine's armed forces. Oleksandr Sierski was the commander of the ground forces and one of the two men who had been tipped to succeed Valery Zaluzhny during the, I would say, months of speculation that have been going on about the possibility that Valery Zaluzhny would be dismissed. You might say it's not exactly consonant with the language that they've been using to present these changes, saying that it's time for renewal, that it's time for new ideas, very much are trying to present a united front with uh, Zelensky and Zeluzhny parting ways amicably, but saying it's time for renewal because the man that they've named to succeed, Valery Zeluzhny, is significantly older than him and studied in Russia and is widely regarded as someone with a rather old school, perhaps a little bit of a Soviet mentality. He's much less popular among the troops on the ground than Valery Zeluzhny was. That said, Oleksandr Sierski is also the man credited basically with um, orchestrating the defence of Kiev and Kiev region in those early weeks of the war. So his achievements certainly are notable. But I think really they've been trying to prepare this uh, change for perhaps as much as a year. I remember a year ago there was a government sanctioned documentary that came out that was basically documenting the first year of the full scale war. And in that, it was very, very clear that they tried to give a lot of space to a long interview with Alexander Stirsky. They were trying to make his star rise, as it were, among Ukrainian popular opinion. That didn't really work out. Valery Zeluzhny remains the, by far the most popular figure in Ukraine, popular, more popular even than Volodymyr Zelensky. And is it because of that popularity that he's out? Well, that is the big question. Is it because of the rivalry, uh, because Zelensky is afraid of Vazeri Zeluzhny's popularity and his possible political ambitions, of which there has been only speculation? He, of course, has never said he has any um, political ambitions. Or is it because of the situation on the ground, because of real differences in terms of strategy? Of course, the counteroffensive on the ground last year was a disappointment. Valery Zeluzhny has to take at least some of the blame for that. And there have been very public differences of opinion between uh, President Zelensky and Valery Zeluzhny about mobilization, about the need to draft more men. Zeluzhny saying that they need at least half a million. Uh, Zelensky casting doubt on those figures. So that's the topic of much debate at the moment in Ukraine, is how much is this about politics and about Zelensky's character? And how much is it actually about the real need for some real renewal on the ground, basically the story that they're presenting as the official version. Uh, on the ground where it's a stalemate currently. Well, stalemate was also the word that Valery Zeluzhny rather controversially used, though I think he used it only once in an interview in an article for The Economist, and it was amplified all around the world, and Volodymyr Zelensky was certainly not happy with that choice of word, which is perhaps not an apt choice of word, because it suggests that there's no way out, and uh, Valery Zeluzhny's whole argument was that Ukraine could find a way out through new technologies and different strategies.